call you Rose. It looks amazing. Cause you're sweet like a flower in blue. Well, it's six o'clock here in the morning and I am on my way to get my new bike. Uh, but the suck the thing that sucks is the bike is in Canberra, so that's like 300 kilometers from here. So I have to take the bus there, a three hour ride, and then get the bike and then ride it back. So yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a journey, but I'm hoping that it's gonna be worth it. And I hopefully I love the bike, man. I mean, yeah, we'll just, we'll see. Steve is here. Steve is the guy who's selling me his bike. Uh, I'm gonna show you the bike now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you really, really ready though? Check this out. Oh shit, she's there. Looks amazing. This is on it. Oh, okay. It's more comfortable when you're standing. Yeah. Um, so the forks we've got no adjustment. That's when the they way. come stock or? Yeah. Right. So you can buy these caps. It's okay. It's just a fork cap. Yeah. And it's got an adjusting bolt and it just tensions the spring or loosens it a bit. What's that for the preload or? Uh, compression. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, preload, yeah. Okay. How do you change the rebound? You can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's no rebound Same setting. The, back. the back's just, it's just there. Yeah. yeah it's just, you can change the spring. Um, unless you want to spend big money. Yeah. Uh, so then that new tank. Um, it's got a, a the standard is a 15 front. It's got a 14 on it now. Um, the foot tags have been lowered. Yeah. Because it's a you probably read about it. These you're sitting like this like yeah. a sports bike. Yeah. I heard. Know? Yeah. Tool tube. Nice. To change these as well. Yep. It's got um I think they're all in there. They look oh, way better than the the original ones. They're like yeah. the original yeah. ones are so big. Eh? Yeah. I had to change that because I hit the head the headlock. Ah the head okay. Yeah. Um side cases to protect the magnesium. Yeah. Um that's about all. There was one thing I was gonna do like <laughs> They call them, well they call them a bush pig, yeah. <laughs> but they also call them a chicken squealer. Okay. You'll hear why in a minute. Yeah. When they're cold, yeah. the starter squeals. Oh, okay. It sounds like a chook. <laughs> I didn't know about that. <laughs> well, that, that's how you replace, you can get a, an arrowhead starter motor for them, but yeah. I don't care. It's only a bit of a noise, you know. Okay. And it works fine. Yeah. Um, oh, that's right, the seat. The seat was nearly $700. Oh, wow. Nice and comfy. Yeah. So um, the, the the muffler that you have, it just goes in like the header pipe is the same and it just bolts in from the halfway yeah, down. It's really easy, you just undo those. Yeah. Undo those and it pulls out. Yeah. Um, and then the new one just pops in. But it's it's pretty loud. Oh okay. Yeah, it's an FMF. Yeah. I never worried about it. Because what you gotta do when you do that, yeah. you've got to modify the airbox, a little more uh, air in. Yeah. And yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of doing that, like the JD, JD yeah. kit or something, JD right? Yeah. Well. yeah. Oh, right, um, quit it with the yapping. Ride the, the bike already. Wanna... Jeez, man. Cool, so we're going to head out to Mount something, look out from here just to see the view of Canberra. And then we're going to go on a fucking long ride back home. So it's going to be a three hour ride. It's going to be interesting. I can check the bike on highway speeds and shit. At the moment, the bike has knobby tires which I didn't find very nice to ride on the road because 
you can feel the bike swaying left and right because of the the knobby tires which is very very bad i guess i don't like that unless if you're unless if you're off-road then that's fine all right i have definitely found the first thing that i need to work on this bike and that is the fucking tires man if i'm riding on the road tires just fucking make the bike sway left to right because they're they're full-on knobby tires so i need to change them and maybe get like a 50 50 50 dirt 50 road or something with like a lot a bit more harder compound so it doesn't like squish and like make the bike all dancey like that but i mean i haven't tried it in off-road so maybe if i take it off-road it's going to be a lot more better but um yeah for highway riding so for road riding this is not the tire to get i haven't really pushed the bike too hard i mean so far it feels pretty nice i did find the engine to be a lot more vibrating when you're closer to the rev range but i mean that's pretty expected considering it's just a sing single cylinder engine so it's not like nicely balanced as a two cylinder engine would be or a three or four but um yeah it's still nice all right this is the spot right here let's take this shit out all right this is mount ainsley lookout right here and then it's a pretty famous lookout and you can tell why because it's got such a sick view of the whole city that that right there is Canberra and you can see the whole city from up here pretty sick well that's it we're heading back home now okay uh, we're already in trouble we haven't even left Canberra and I just found out that when I kept this bag on both sides uh, the exhaust got so hot that it melted my side plastic which isn't good so I have uh, mounted the bag there somehow for now and I'm hoping that it's gonna stay there I mean it's a long way back home so if something happens to this bike man we are fucked alright cool off we go I wanna see what wheelies on this bike looks like That wasn't a wheelie at all. <laughs> Fuck. Should we try the off-road tires? There we go. Much better on the off-roads. Well, I don't know if you all can see, but this thing is totally fucked by getting in the, the tire, in between the tire and the frame. So, I'm just gonna throw this here. Oh, shit. Fucking my mic case also got bitten by the tire. I have no other options. I think I'm just gonna stash everything in this one bag. And then make it work somehow, I guess. Oh, you can open this to make it bigger. bring it over and hook it there all right hopefully this is going to be way way stronger than what i had before and then we're just gonna get rid of it i guess it's not a good thing to throw shit like that but what are you gonna do man jesus christ man Crazy! This shit's crazy! Alright, I'm on the highway right now so I thought maybe this would be a good time to test what the top speed is on this bike. Now, just to uh, just before I start the test, I want to say the bike is absolutely stock right now. At least in terms of the power performance. I mean, the, the springs in the front fork are changed to be a bit more stiffer because the factory springs are notoriously soft. Other than that, it doesn't have a 
aftermarket exhaust it hasn't had the airbox mod and the carby mod so this is completely stock so i want to test how fast it goes all right let's go we're we're in fifth gear right now i'm at 100 110 120 we're getting there it's not as fast as my mt09 for sure it's a bit slow on the pool as well but hey it's still um it's still at 130 right now and I'm chickening out because the fucking vibration on my arm is crazy so 140 stock so maybe with an airbox mod and a uh, exhaust that I've got in my backpack maybe we can push 150 160 also the bike doesn't feel stable at high speeds for some reason maybe it's the knobby tires maybe it's the Maybe it's like just too flappy, I don't know. Maybe the front fender is flapping in the wind like that. Maybe that makes a big difference, but yeah. Not a big fan of high speed runs on this bike. I mean, look at that. The front, front thing is just like flapping. Come on. All right, anyways, but it is super, super comfortable. It must be this seat, this uh, seat concept seat, I believe this is. It is so comfortable, so wide. It feels like I'm sitting on a sofa and um, the handlebars, handlebars have been risen a little bit as well. So it just feels like I'm like cruising, right? It doesn't even feel like I'm riding a bike. Whereas when I was riding my MT-09, I was a little bit tucked in. My knees were a little bit tucked in as well. It was more of a sporty position, but this is, this is the best position you can get in ergonomically speaking. we're at Goldburn um, I think that's about 77 or 80 kilometers from Canberra uh, we're just gonna go do a quick stop to fill up the tank and clean my helmet because there's fucking bugs everywhere it's gonna give the helmet a good clean because it's fucking bugs everywhere. Nothing there. Look at that. Bugs everywhere. All right, guys, I've done majority of the highway riding already. A uh, few things I've noticed and few things I don't like. For some reason, the the front end is so wobbly at high speeds. Like any speed above 120 this thing just fucking shakes like crazy and there's a lot of vibration in the handlebars i mean the vibration i get it but i don't know why the front end is so wobbly so i'm gonna have to do something about it maybe some research i i, I want to change this and give make it like a shorter fender because i don't think i'm gonna be using this fender anyways uh, the tires might have something to do with the front wobble as well uh, oh my god, look at that fucking bugs dead everywhere. I kind of like these super ultra wide bar uh, foot pegs. I mean, look at that. It's like, doesn't even uh, feel like you're putting your uh, foot on a foot peg. It feels like you're literally like flat footed on the ground. If you're, if you're cruising at 110, 120 for long trips, this bike is perfect. It's gonna take it, take it in. It's gonna do that all day, every day. Um, but I'm very excited to go home and actually like actually I want to give this a wash first look how fucking dirty it is and it's all rusty the chain is all like um, oh, there's a lot of slack as well I need to check uh, make it a little tighter as well lots of things that, that, that I need to do to the bike but that's the point of getting a DR60 it's like pretty much you're getting a blank canvas and you can paint whatever you want on it so yeah happy days very very excited to work on this bike. Yeah. I've, got, um, I've done the suspension, which is the most important part. Oh, okay. They've got the preloads. Have you actually had the suspension adjusted? I haven't, but the guy I bought it before? from, he, he put in like a different spring. So it's it's firmer yeah. than the stock one. Yep. 
Um, uh, the valving is important too, though. So the valving, spring yeah. Will, spring will um, sit it up a bit and it'll stop the fork dive a bit. Yeah. Um, FFRC in Brisbane do yeah. um, plex valves. Okay. Great. Nice tire. Uh, How do you check? Do you check? Is is the rebound adjustable on these forks? Do you know? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Plastic. But um, the seat will be amazing. Yeah, the seat's really nice. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, this double check your suspension. Okay. You service it easy yourself. If you don't have plex valves or like an emulator at the bottom. Yeah. Just pop them out, and then once you empty them, because I mean you probably want to service them, replace the oil. Yeah. If you haven't got an uh, emulator at the bottom, put them in. It makes a world of difference. Okay. Uh, and the service frame guards are really good as well. Which ones? A service, a, a Cherubus or a service. They make oh, a they've, frame they've guard got a guard that goes there. Oh, okay. And it's really grippy. So when you get your. Mo I, I do off road. Yeah. Right Where do you go usually? Uh, I'm from Victoria. Oh, okay. So I'll show you my weapon, but I'm, I've got a few bikes. Yeah. The cover, yeah. Um, you can also adjust the gear in as well. I've changed mine. You can oh, gear okay. it down a little bit. It makes yeah. it sing on the highway, but it's better for off road. But yeah. I think the guy, it. he gave me a 15 tooth one that yep. was stock. So yep. that one's 14, 14, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've got 14 at the moment. Yeah. Um, I also bought a bigger sprocket for the back. Okay. And I had the small, what did I do? Small front, bigger back? I can't remember. It was brilliant for So it's super torquey then. Oh, like yeah. the it low was, end is fucking crazy. Road, I could actually get it up and the front wheel over obstacles. And oh, wow. It was great. Yeah. But big butt of it was that um uh on the highway it was shit <laughs> yeah so and yeah he's, he's removed the um yeah he's got a bunch of he did a bunch of things that leaks, i was thinking of doing yeah and the the roller thing here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's got, got gotten well. deleted it's as well yeah all right thank you so much yeah, right. uh, Congratulations. yeah. Enjoy thanks ride, man. awesome but yeah um don't get carried away in the hype. That thing will take you anywhere. Yeah. Like serious. As I said, I've, I've done single track and I even, um, I was chasing these on a wet day. Yeah. On my first proper single track day. Uh. I chased these guys down a gully, back up the other side. And as I was going up the gully, a tree had fallen across the track. Yeah. And I wasn't the best of riders. And I'm like, oh shit. As I'm climbing up this thing and I went, fuck it. I remember seeing a video of this. Yeah. Um, and the lads have already started walking down. Yeah. There's no way this guy's getting up it. Yeah. Booted it, dropped the clutch. Fucking hell. And it got up all over the thing. Yeah. And the lads are like, yeah. <laughs> um, This is in Victoria? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Victoria high country stuff. But um, yeah, they will go anywhere. So, yeah, awesome. enjoy, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well done. See you, man. Take care. Well, uh, I think that kind of proves the point. Everywhere, if you drive a DR, and people are going to come up and talk to you because it's just such a famous bike. It's been around for so long. It's It has such a good reputation. Everybody loves it. Nobody hates it. It's just, you can't go wrong with a DR, guys. You literally can't. And there's like a... I don't know if you have like research, but if you do research, you're going to see such a big support from all these. There's like websites, there's forums all dedicated to DRs. It's it's that good of a bike. It's And it's been around for that long of a time. Anyways, uh, we're going back now. 